Hi guys, it's Jeremy Town with Juicy Results. I'm here with Kate from the Marketing Divas and we wanted to let you on a little conversation we were having. Uh, last week we went to go see a client and they actually said during the meeting that they thought social media was a fad. So Kate, let me ask you, we've been asked this before, <laughs> is social media a fad? Uh, well, considering we started our business uh, to do so social media for companies, I hope it's not a fad, otherwise <laughs> I'm in trouble. big trouble. <laughs> but no, definitely I do not think it's a fad. Do you think it's a fad? Well, when, I'm at, when someone tells me that social media is a fad in a meeting or if they ask that, I say, you know what, you're probably right. It's just a 15-year fad, and then eventually it'll be replaced by something else. But you might as well take advantage of it while it's working. Absolutely. So, you know, the thing that, that I always like to bring up is that if you look at the email marketing trends, which most people that say social media is a fad probably used to say email marketing was a fad, and now they're doing it. And you know what? Now if you look at email marketing, it's decreasing. People are using it less. How are they spending that time or getting that information? It's probably through a social media channel like Twitter or Facebook or something else. So while email usage is actually declining, social media usage is growing, and that means all audiences. You know, the fastest growing segment of social media is actually an older crowd. I don't know the exact numbers, but I believe it's the baby boomers, especially at the upper end of the mm -hmm. baby boomers. They're getting on social media even faster. And so everybody talks about how people are coming on Facebook and teens aren't using it. Well, they're still using social media. So whatever the platform is may change, but I think the world is more connected than ever, and that's not gonna change, right? No. Absolutely not. It's it is really interesting. You know, brands people are really connecting with brands and companies. Mm -hmm. Um, how often how often do you look at somebody you find a new company or um or brand that you like, and what do you do? You immediately go to their Facebook page to see what they have going on, to see some of the photos that they're posting. So, um, I know the brands and companies that I really enjoy mm -hmm. and like. They've got their little things that they do. Maybe it's like every Friday they post a different pic or something that you can get excited about. Um, that they have going on so it's that it's that way that you can really connect with people on a daily basis mm -hmm. You know email is one of those Absolutely. things where you can't be sending out emails every single day and expect that people are gonna Be using them and reading them Not for long. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'll be gone So now I mean it's 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 interesting to see how um, how companies and people are getting really creative on social media and using whether they're using Twitter or Instagram. I mean, there's so many different platforms that it's fun for people. Mm -hmm. to, it's fun to, to see what people are doing to really yeah. connect with the audience, with their audiences. Yeah, and let me use an example to show you how, how ingrained social media is in our culture now. You know, 15 years ago, if you had a bad experience on an airline, you'd tell everybody you knew and you were mad and you swear you're never going to fly that airline. Five or ten years later, you'd go on the internet and you'd tell everybody. Mm -hmm. Today, you tweet the airline. Are you, you expect yeah. a response. You expect to be able to go right to them and hear back. And if not, it's like, catastrophic. Absolutely. So, so the way our expectations of interaction with, with brands and with companies have dramatically changed. Yeah. That is really true. I was mm -hmm. actually on a flight um, when I went up to Inbound in Boston. And I went and I, uh, I found JetBlue on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm going to tweet them something because... You know, even just to see if they would connect back with me. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a fun uh, fun way to connect with someone. So um, it's it's definitely different times, and we're seeing a lot of different trends. But like Absolutely. you said, from email, I mean, even search, the way that people are searching. And when everyone's talking about SEO and being found online, and social media is becoming increasingly more important to get found online. I mean, SEO is... Um, obviously, important part of 100%. of your internet strategy. And yeah, Google has, a, has admitted that their algorithm has been updated to include what they call social signals as a as a ranking factor. And what that means is that you know if you have content that people are sharing and liking, especially on Google Plus, but also on Twitter and Facebook, then that actually elevates uh, the likelihood that that will rank when people are searching. And that's brand new. When I say brand new, I mean the last couple of years. But it's only going to grow. So. If SEO is important to you, then I think social media has to be important to you too. Yeah. And while you while your competitors are out there saying that social media is a fad, you can you can get some real ground on them by doing that. So before the fad runs out, if you want more tips on social media marketing, visit juicyresults.com and marketing. Media.